Hey everyone, welcome back to Mike's Monsters. We've been doing a lot of Godzilla stuff lately, but we're gonna jump ahead a couple hundred years into the future and hang out with a little Xenomorph friend of mine here. We're talking alien Romulus and a bunch of new details that have come out recently. This is Rumor Control and here are the facts. I'm just gonna give you a heads up right now. We are gonna talk minor spoilers in here. Everything I talk about, I feel will be in the trailer that's coming hopefully very soon, likely on Alien Day, I think. There are other reports saying it's gonna be here sooner than that, but we'll see about that. But again, Minor, minor spoiler warning here. I will be revealing something that some people might think is a really big spoiler, but for the actual plot of the movie, it is not. So you have been warned now. A lot of the details we're talking about here have come out over time. The movie's title is Alien Romulus. There were some leaked audition tapes that came out. A lot of the information that I talk about here lines up with what's gone inside of those. So if you don't want any spoilers, just click away. I know exactly what the disgusting scene is that, that Isabella Merced talked about and why it's a very, very different film. We also know that this movie is set between Alien and Aliens, which adds even more mystery to what happens in this movie. Along with that, we know the legendary Legacy Effects, formerly Stan Winston Studios, is working on this movie, along with ADI and Weta FX. I have been beyond lucky to have seen a little bit of what's been going on behind the scenes with this new Alien movie, and I cannot wait for everybody else to see what's coming. First, we're gonna talk about the face huggers. You may have seen a few weeks ago a post going around the Alien fandom uh, about face huggers having a new design feature, and they have little barbs on the tips of their fingers. Barbs that look like barbed wire on a fence or on a rose, something that will slice you, I decided to take a deeper look at the Alien Day photo that came out last year with the face hugger holding the clapperboard because I have seen a few things that some other people haven't and it prompted me to take a look. And indeed, they were there the entire time. The barbs are on the fingers. And I can tell you that each finger, every single digit has the barbs on it. It's a lot like the queen face hugger design from Alien 3 that was never really seen on camera. The two front fingers have barbs on the front of them. You can see here in this photo. But like I said, having seen a little bit more, I decided to just get my eyes in and zoom in on that photo. And yeah, they are right there, right in front of our eyes. And they have been this entire time. A few people are calling it slime or some sticky tack to hold it onto the, the clapper board, but I can guarantee you they are indeed little barbs. I would show you another photo if I could, but I would get in a lot of trouble for that. And I will not be doing that. It's really fun to watch you guys go wild with all these speculations. It's nuts. You guys move like a wildfire. It's crazy. And while the little barbs are something fun and new, there's actually another feature on the facehugger that is kind of in front of our eyes in that photo too. If you look at the very, very bottom of the tail, there's a little bit of a line there. That is a stinger. There is now scorpion tail stinger on the face huggers. They're very carefully placing that tail so you don't see it all. In the movie, they definitely position their tail with that stinger out like a scorpion would. It's pretty cool. And now you you don't have to believe me. I, I, I know I'm just some guy on the internet talking about this, but I have some very reputable sources. If you talk to the folks at AVP Galaxy, they know I am a very good source. I go way back with those guys. I even helped start their podcast back in the day. I have a lot of friends who have worked on this franchise. I've been invited to see what goes on behind those closed doors. And it's just a surreal feeling because this is why I got into photography. And this is why I do what I do. It's it's a really crazy feeling. So to be able to have seen more than the working Joe, I can't not just want to scream it from the tops of the mountains. But speaking of Romulus, there were some leaks that came out over the weekend. And I am here to confirm to you that they are indeed true. An account called The V Scooper posts Alien Romulus, a group of scavengers depart from their home planet for an abandoned spaceship aiming to steal equipment, unleashing baby Xenos and the fearsome Xenomorph in a gory battle. More chest rips and stunning visuals, staying true to the franchise's essence with some twists. Now, when I read that and <laughs> knowing what I know, I, I immediately thought that everyone is going to take that baby Xenomorph thing and run with it. And everybody started thinking it was David's creations on the Covenant. And I'm going to tell you, we've seen a baby Xenomorph before. And we've already been talking about it in this video. Those are face huggers. So yes, that is indeed a very simple explanation of what this film's plot is. It really does not give too much away. But there was more that they shared later on. Alien Romulus will show us up close a new planet with a gritty civilization, as well as the abandoned space station filled with face huggers and the perfect organism lurking around. Lots of suspense, gore, as well as action with tech and guns await. They clarified there it was face huggers. So those are the baby xenomorphs. So don't go 
expecting to see David's little creations running around or anything like that in this film. We see a colony and I can confirm we do see a colony towards the beginning of the film. There has been some discrepancy with the verbiage of spaceship and space station. And some people are saying, which is it? And I say, what if it's both? And this is a major spoiler. Jump to this timestamp to skip these potentially heavier spoilers. What I will tell you though, David and the Covenant are not in this movie. But does it tie to the prequels? That is for you to find out when you get to see the movie in August. And I cannot wait to be in the theater with everyone else because this movie is going to be so fun to watch with the crowd. There are so many moments that I cannot wait to hear that crowd's reaction for. It is going to be a very fun time. They also go on to say, the Utani space station contains several cryo chambers of xenomorphs. What purposes do they serve there? Many secrets and twists are about to be uncovered. First thing, it is a Weyland Utani space station. That was just bad wording. It shouldn't be a surprise as we saw the Weyland Utani logo in the set photo. There are indeed xenomorphs in cryo chambers, but not like this image that they posted shows. It's kind of like it, but it seems to me like they may have taken descriptions from the movie or something and used AI to generate the images to post on these Twitter posts here. The imagery looks similar to what's in the movie, but they're not a 100% match to what's actually in the film. There are also indeed a lot of twists and surprises in this movie. And this is where I hope that no more leaks really come out for this movie. Yes, I'm giving away information here, but this is information that I feel like is just going to be right in the trailer, like I said. I hope there are a few of you that won't be posting the leaks if you get access to them, if there are any. But as we get closer to the release, I can see leaks starting to come out. Some of you already ruined Godzilla Kong, the new empire. That plot leak came out a while ago and you are responsible for that if you're watching. I'm calling you out, you know who you are. You don't need to post leaks. It only profits you and nobody else. You do a lot of damage to the fan bases when you post leaks and I don't care what you say. I don't care if you say you're a fan of the franchise. It hurts us all when you do that. It's not fair to the people that put in hours and hours of hard work to make this a reality and you ruining the surprise for so many people is just selfish and not fair. It's not fair to the filmmakers that make these films, especially if you call yourself one. You can say we don't have to read or watch the leaks, but what once they're out there, they blow up all over social media. I watched it happen with the Godzilla community. Take responsibility for your own actions. The moment you see it in the theater for the first time and experience it that way, that's the way you want to have it. Reading the spoilers or having someone tell them to you, it doesn't give you the actual feeling or vibe or context to what's actually happening in the movie. So if you find out that there are spoilers out there, just stay away from him for this movie. I promise you, you want to keep some of the surprises a secret. I was very caught off guard by some of the things they do in this movie but I won't tell you how I feel about them because that is for me to tell you in August. This movie is gonna get a lot of people talking and I cannot wait to hear what the fans have to say about a lot of the crazy things this movie does. But maybe one day soon, I'll actually be able to share the story about the canceled Alien 5 Neil Blomkamp movie. I promise you, we're gonna be happy that we've gone in the direction of Romulus and not the direction of Blomkamp's movie. That would have been a nightmare. I swear to God. I have no timeline on something like that though. I'm hoping I can share it soon though. If you'd like to support this channel, check out my affiliate link with Entertainment Earth where you can buy a ton of Alien and Predator merchandise like action figures, statues, and more. With my link, you'll get 10% off your order and any orders on in-stock items over $79 gets free shipping as well. I'm a working artist who does all of this full time. I'm a professional photographer and this is my job to create things like this. So if you really want to support this channel, you can help a lot by buying from Entertainment Earth and using that link. Or if you would like to, you can donate below. I have a new donate button that I just activated recently on this channel. Thank you if you do consider donating. It helps me continue to be able to make these kind of videos for you in the future. Tell me what you think of these new details about Alien Romulus and tell me how excited you are to see it. What would you like to see in Alien Romulus and what do you think is going to happen? I can't really talk much because I am on an NDA, but the NDA doesn't cover everything, so I am allowed to say a few things here and there. Stay tuned to Mike's Monsters for more vicious Alien Romulus news. I have more to share and as more information comes out, I'll share more information but it will not be leaking because I don't want to share the entire plot for everybody because there are seriously some awesome surprises in this movie. I'm going to be doing a video series about all the Alien movies leading up to Alien Romulus in August. So if you want to see those, subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that I share on this channel. Thank you so much for watching Mike's Monsters and have a great rest of your day.